Many shareholder letters in the 1970s and 1980s discussed various aspects of inflation and its potentially destructive effects on investment. The 2008 letter mentioned that current Federal Reserve's quantitative easing could again bring about inflation, yet the 2009 letter made no mention of this threat. What are your current thoughts on the risk level of higher inflation in the United States? Well, I may be a little biased on this but, uh, because I've always worried a lot about inflation, and there's been a lot of inflation. Uh, uh, you know, Charlie's pointed out, you know, since I was born in 1930, uh, the dollar's depreciated by well over 90 percent. But as he also points out, we've done OK. So it isn't the end of the world necessarily. I think that the prospects for significant inflation have increased, you know, with uh, what not only here, but around the world with uh, the situation that governments have either been forced into or elected to to uh, embrace. Uh, and I, they may have well been the correct responses, but we may find that the weaning ourselves from the medicine uh, was was harder than solving the original illness. And, and the medicine, you know, has been massive dosages of uh, of debt. And like I say, not here, not only here, but elsewhere. And I don't see any way that countries running very high, high deficits relative to GDP uh, don't have a significant diminution in the value of their currency over time. Now that it can be done for a while. I mean, we've done it through wars and everything else. And maybe we will, maybe we will correct the situation. But if we don't, I wrote an I wrote an op-ed piece in the New York Times about a year ago on this. And uh, I do think that if you wanted to bet on higher or lower inflation, bet your life on it. I'd bet on higher and maybe a lot higher. Charlie. Well, again, I agree.